Hello and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Judith and today I'm going to do another Cajun or Creole possibly dish. Um, this is jambalaya. Now I have done gumbo before and in gumbo you serve it with the rice separately. The rice is an addition. Jambalaya, the rice is part of the dish. So to get started we need well, I'm not using chicken in this one. I'm, I'm using shrimp or prawn. So I have some frozen prawn. And I can't get andouille sausage here. At least I haven't seen it. So I have some chorizo. I do have my Cajun spice blend. I'll give you the recipe for that. And some bell peppers, red and green. A white onion, some celery. And you may have noticed in my gumbo recipe, I did not use okra. I am not going to use okra today either. I don't like okra, but it is what's used to thicken the dish. If you're not going to use okra, especially if it's out of season, they will use filet powder. I can't get that here. So alternative is to use zucchini. So I have chicken stock and tomato. Now I should have crushed tomato. These are, this is close, it's passata. So it's basically strained tomato. So we got to start chopping veggies and we need the chorizo sliced up. And then we'll start cooking. Now that we've warmed our pot up, you want you do want a fairly large pot, either a stock pot or a Dutch oven. We're going to put in a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. And depending on how much you're cooking, you can adjust that. I have cut the recipe down quite a lot from the one we used to do in the restaurant. And we're going to add in our chorizo sausage. And I have four and a half ounces, which is about 135 grams. So we're just going to let this cook to release its oils and spices. slices in the oil. Let's stop resting on top of each other. And give them a few minutes to cook. And we'll be right back. Now if you're going to do chicken in this dish, you would have added the chicken to the pot with your andouille or chorizo. And if you can see, I don't know if you can see that, but the oil has distinctly changed color. It's now gone rather orange, and that's from the spices in the chorizo. So we're going to remove the chorizo, and if you use chicken too, once your chicken is cooked through, you will take the chicken out. needed. You will add more oil. Um, I don't think I really need to. I don't think I really need to add more oil, but just to be safe, I'm just going to put another tablespoon or so in because now we're going to cook our vegetables. So we're going to go with our green pepper and add some red pepper. It's still bell pepper. Actually not a bell pepper, but a sweet pepper. A little bit of celery. Some white onion. I'm going to let these cook until everything is softened. Oh. 
And you also want to add your garlic. And if you're using a jalapeno pepper, add that too. I am not using the jalapeno. As if you watch any of my videos, you know I am not good with spicy. So I have to... So I limit the spicy that I put in my food. And actually my preference for peppers is a serrano. And if I remember correctly, serrano actually rates higher on the Scoville scale than jalapeno. So I don't know where that comes from. But yeah, we're just now going to soften the veggies. in that wonderful flavored oil. Okay. While your veggies are cooking, you want to give them a stir now and then. And you just want to cook them until the onion is soft. Take five or six minutes. Then we're going to add our spices. We want a bay leaf, about a teaspoon of thyme, and a stir. And I have a tablespoon of my Cajun seasoning. If you can find Cajun seasoning, if you can find Cajun seasoning at the store, use that, or I will give you my recipe. It's one that I got. I should say stole from a restaurant I worked in where we did a lot of Cajun dishes like blackened fish and blackened chicken and we used to call it blackened seasoning but it's it's basically basically Cajun seasoning or Creole seasoning they're pretty much the same There we go. Give that a minute for the spices to cook. Okay, now we're going to add our chicken stock. And I have two cups of homemade chicken stock. But if you need to use chicken stock that you purchased at the store, that's fine. And then we want some tomato. So I'm using strained tomato. I'm going to put in about half of a 660 ml jar of strained tomatoes. So we're talking 300 or so mils. And give that a stir. And then we're going to add our rice. Now I have a cup of rice, but I don't think we're going to use all of it. I think we want to just go for three quarters of a cup. Let's stir that in. Now we need to bring this to a simmer. And I'm sorry, but I find the fried chorizo irresistible. So. Yeah, I'm been, I've been eating it, <laughs> and you can probably hear that in, in the audio. I don't know if you can see that, but now we've got it up to a simmer. It's bubbling quite nicely. I'm just going to give it a bit of a stir and distribute the rice a little. Make sure it's not all in one clump. I'm going to cover it. And we're going to turn the heat down and let it go for 25 to 30 minutes. And you will want to check every five minutes or so and give it a bit of a stir to make sure nothing's sticking. But basically we want to get the rice cooked. So it does need time. It's been about 25 minutes or so. Let's give it a good. Oh yeah, the rice is doing well. 
and I've stirred it a couple of times just to make sure the rice doesn't and burn. So now we add the shrimp, which I have um, white Pacific shrimp, and it's still kind of frozen, so it's going to take a bit. And we're going to add the okra replacement, which is zucchini. And if we're looking a bit thick, we might want to add a bit more um, chicken stock. And yeah, we look a bit thick here. You may not need to add a lot more um, liquid. Depends on how much rice you're using and how thick you want it. I've just added the rest of that makes one liter of chicken stock it was a little thick and the zucchini will thicken it even further so we're going to bring that back up to a simmer that'll take a minute okay I'm sorry I got up and came out and found this to be bubbling quite rapidly so I give it a good stir so we're going to turn the heat down and give it a taste. This, the rice is not cooked yet, so. Mm. Doing wonderful. Let's, let's have another taste here. Rice is actually getting quite well cooked. The zucchini will thicken everything. We're going to put the sausage back in. That's going to add some spice. Now, I didn't add the jalapeno pepper. If you want to, that is totally up to you. I prefer things a little less spicy than that. But the, the sausage will add an amazing amount of spice. Um, yeah, I think we're we're getting close. Mm -hmm. And it's getting there. This is supposed to be a stew-like texture, so it needs to cook a little more. I will leave the lid off and let it cook. Actually, we will add the rest of the rice in. Uh, only put in three quarters of a cup. I will put in the last quarter cup and let it cook down. And we'll turn the heat down a bit. So make sure you give it a good stir every now and then or it's going to burn to the bottom of the pot. You don't have to be too worried. It's not going to burn that quickly. Unless your heat's too high. And let's have a taste of what we got now. Quite nice, but yeah. Still have some uncooked rice, because I did add some rice. So, mm, spice is coming through. Let's check a shrimp. That is really nice. And I probably didn't need to add the extra rice, but now we have to wait for it to cook. So, let's turn this down, put the lid on it, and give it a few minutes. This is my version of Jambala. Jambala? It's not an easy word to pronounce unless you're from Louisiana. It's got prawns, or what a lot of people call shrimp. Mm. Spicy sausage. Tomato, rice, vegetables. It's in a lot of ways like gumbo, but still a little different. The Cajun and Creole culture in Louisiana is quite prominent. 
And this is where this dish comes from. It's kind of a fusion between African, Caribbean, European. Well, I'm not sure if there's much European in there. But all cultures have a rice dish. I thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will be back with a new recipe really soon. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all.